Meantime, for the first time in his NHL career, Alex Ovechkin has gone back-to-back -back games without a single shot on goal. Now, the last time he put one on net was in the Caps' season opening loss to the Penguins. In fact, the whole team has been struggling in that department. The Caps averaging just 22 shots on goal, second last in the league right now. So is this a sign of things to come for Ovi or just a bad start? With more, here's Gina Retta. Frankie, the hockey community is making a habit of saying when Ovechkin passes Gretzky's all-time goals record. It's super early, I understand that. But Ovi's slow start, has it given you any reason to believe that maybe it isn't such a lock that he catches Gretzky? I'm still on the side that it's a lock. I just want to put a few things in perspective for you, okay? Right. This is a guy that has had nine 50-plus goal seasons. And if we're doing a roadmap as far as how he's going to catch Gretzky, he needs 72 to tie, 73 to break it. So he's got to go 30 this year, 30 next year, and then squeeze out 13 after that, however you want to slice it. To put this in perspective even more, Yaramir Yager at age 41 had a 24-goal season, and at age 44 had a 27-goal season. Alex Ovechkin is a much more prolific goal scorer than Yaramir Yager ever was. And any time we have thought that Ovi was not up to snuff with his goal-scoring ability in 16-17, he had 33 goals. You know what he followed that up with? 49. He had 24 in 45 games in 2021. He followed that up with 50. So anytime we think Ovi is making a step back, he finds a way to bounce back. It's very early in the season. I have no doubt Alexander Ovechkin, the great eight, is going to be the greatest goal scorer of all time. It's early in the season, but late in his life. And let me give you a little perspective. As we say, Ovi is 38. It. When Gretzky was 38, he had nine goals in his final NHL season. Are we making a huge assumption, and I'm going to suggest yes, that Ovi <laughs> could keep on scoring 30 this year and 30 next and then squeak in another 13? That seems like a big assumption. I'm going to say we're not making a big assumption because the era that Alexander Ovechkin has played in has seen defense tighten up, goaltenders get better, and he has found ways to break through time and time again. The one-timer on the power play. Everyone knows he's going to do it. Shooting the wrist shot off the rush. Everyone knows he's going to do it, but he still finds ways to score goals. This is what's going to make him the greatest goal scorer of all time. Knowing exactly what he's going to do, but not being able to stop it. And I would argue that Gretzky started in an era where goaltenders, as you know, didn't have as much padding. The yes. defensive game wasn't there. And once we got into that dead puck era, that's when we saw Gretzky's goals really tail off. Ovechkin's not going to go through that. We've seen goal scoring go up the last few seasons. You can't stop Ovechkin. You can only hope to try. For what it's worth, not everybody is as convinced as you are. Ovechkin has fallen to plus 3,500 to win the Rocket this year. That's behind seven other skaters.